Good morning and welcome back to Acorn Homestead. I'm doing a kitchen reno video today, so if you guys feel like you wanted to um, add some comments, I would happily read them all and see. So this, I'll tell you where I'll show you where I'm at here. So this is my clothes dresser. It's quite tall, and it's also quite long. It's 52 inches long, and 30 three inches tall which is a nice size for counter right mm, fire that is my storage at the minute um, I got this for dishes dishes uh, there's room for the sink that I have which is outside and that's what I was going to put the sink in so that because uh, of the doors you open easily and there's a shelf I can take it out and there's room for a bucket so I can just have that. Um, I have this tall cabinet, which as you can see is about three and a half inches taller than my cooker, which if I use this back burner, I'm worried that it's going to cause problems with that. Now, the white dresser I showed you at the beginning is not as tall as this, which I like. So I'll show you what I've got here. So I made this uh, little layout. That's the water one. Um, I made this little layout of my kitchen. It's 52 inches by 156 inches, which is 13 feet. That's interior measurements. It's a 14 foot cabin. These all move. They move easier this way because I've moved them around a couple of times already. I haven't moved, obviously, the dresser there. So, um, and I have this little metal shelf too, but it's over on the other side of the wood burning stove, which is there. So this is what I was thinking. If I put this here and put the tall cabinet, the one that the little white one in the corner, cause it's very tall. Um, I would have to put my cooker on a stand. Uh, I would also have to put my windows my curtains or something to block it off in the recess there. Hang on, the dog wants out. Hang on one sec. Sorry about that. Where was I? Um, this cabinet is very tall, so I would have to... But I have a piece of um, the fireboard that I want to put under the cooker and up the back so that it's protecting the wall, just in case. I mean, there isn't any real issue at the moment. Um, it's sealed unit except for the bottom and it's nine inches tall before it gets to the floor. So it, it is safe enough. But I was thinking that if I built it a little stand, um, I could put the fireboard on it and then I would have no worries about it starting to uh, uh, destroy the wood of the cabin or the linoleum of the floor. But that's a project for another day. I, first of all, I have to figure out where everything's going. Um, at some point, the the tank is going outside. But for now, it's one piece together, and that's why it looks like that. Yeah, that's my high-tech drawings. So, um, like I was saying, this cabinet is quite tall. And if I put it on a lift, it would be the same height as the cooker, which I'm okay with. The only thing is, I really like the idea of having... A nice clear workspace all the way along so that's that five foot Ikea shelf it's got enough stuff on it's got stuff on it but I have more stuff that I have to put on it and I have to tidy it because it's a tip and it's driving me crazy but that's neither here nor there um, this is that tall cabinet which would fit here and it would give me a tiny bit of room to get into this cupboard here I could actually even put it this way which would give me an extra few inches um, it wouldn't give me a whole lot of inches because um, I'm not a tiny person and this is a tiny space. But we'll worry about that just in a minute. I don't want to crowd it to the sofa. I could, like, okay, we'll pretend this is the the sofa. I could actually move it to there and move it out a bit. Like... Because nobody, like, you've got about five or six inches of, like, an armrest and 
the edge of the sofa that nobody would sit there so it could come out a wee bit giving me a little bit more space here which is all right I want I thought about moving this shelf over here but it's it's really tall and right now the way I have it set up is that while it's over here um, there is space like when you come in the front door I haven't put a shelf really low on that side so my shoes and there's a my shoes go underneath it and there's a little shoe rack for it so that works really well there so I pretty much want to keep that there it's the rest of this stuff that I'm not sure where to put um, right now as I showed you my cooker is over here and this cabinet is here but because there's such a height difference I think that it's a possibility that the cabinet being wood and this being of the fire nature might cause a bit of problems so I kind of don't want these two pieces together unless I build a thing for the cooker so for now that is here now the only problem with putting the cooker right under the window is the fact that I have dangly curtains oopsie I have dangly curtains so I would need something I'm, I'm not gonna cook in the middle of the night if I'm cooking the door the windows can be open I can put the curtains on either side because I've designed the curtain poles so that the curtains can hang freely on either side of the window on all my windows are like well except for the front one all my windows are like that um, there's a room for the curtains to hang and not block the windows even even the front even the front window they're designed also like that and installed like that but um, so I don't the curtain is not an, as much of an issue as the height of this cabinet would be as an issue so that's what I was thinking but I really like the idea of this being here for the simple reason that um, if I put this not that one this one the brown one if I put this here because these are almost the same height this is actually this is actually lower so that works out well if I put the sink in here then I have the sink right next to the cooker which is okay I have room to get into this and this is my the top and like I said it's it's uh, 52 inches by 20 inches and 30 31 or 32 inches tall so it works very well as a kitchen counter uh, if I put it here that would work as well for the simple reason that it is is not as tall as the cooker either so I'm not worried about this one because there's enough space and I'm not worried about the the curtains because I can put the curtains on this side away from the actual burners the other thing is I was thinking of if I got hooks I could put the curtains recessed into the window which is about two inches deep and that would keep the curtain within a very limited space which I kind of like that idea but that's a story for another day um, the water shelf or the the water thing would need to be easily accessed and I'm not sure about this cabinet therein lies the problem I have too much furniture and I've, I've even gotten rid of I had a big wall unit I even got rid of that the other day so um, because not only did I have this metal shelf this cabinet the brown one the dresser which is under my bed at the minute where you saw the cooker and the tank and that five foot shelf that's all there I also have a metal shelf which a lot of people use for grow lights and stuff it was one of those I got it from home base um, I have two of them one of them is outside one of them is inside and I like they're okay I like them they come in handy they're very adjustable they're very sturdy they don't need to be attached to the wall or anything they don't fall over and stuff but so this is this is where I run into problems I ha again have too much furniture and I don't know what to do about that I like the idea of putting the sink in this but then I'd have to have a little thing that holds some water so that I have a 
I can put the uh, water in the sink and a bucket underneath to drain it. Uh, because I live in a dry cabin. Um, these are very common in Alaska, apparently. I found this website that has this woman basically said, I live in a dry cabin in Alaska. And I'm like, what is a dry cabin? As it turns out, I also live in a dry cabin. It just means a cabin that doesn't have any plumbing. Now here, it doesn't have plumbing because I haven't bothered to install it. But in Alaska, they don't have plumbing in all the places for the simple reason that um, it gets kind of cold up there. It was 50 degrees Celsius. So minus 50 degrees Celsius. So it gets very cold and the water pipes freeze. So you have to make sure that your cabin is well insulated and heated all the time with whatever they heat with so that the pipes don't freeze and burst. Um, here, I just don't have plumbing, so that's fine. But, um, so if we have the sink here and like I can put this over here more and that leaves a lot of space here which is a safe thing which would be a good thing it won't be lots because this is this is 34 inches and this is 30 inches so there's like two inches on each side kind of thing so that would be fine and this is 52 inches so um, there's nine inches like there's a between there's a nine inches between this wall and the edge of the window so that gives me room for like a garbage can or uh, some other storage like the pans that you have not pans but like the cookie sheets and stuff like that so that's also an option um, the water cabinet is accessible because this is all open um, the the sofa is here and there's nothing else here except for this little table this little this little table here but that's okay um this cabinet is too much i think but it's small enough that i could put it like right here or something um the sofa is there so it could go i don't know there kind of in the middle but there doesn't I don't think there's enough room so this might be extra and I might have to move it and put it somewhere else I'm not sure where so again um, if you have any ideas uh, I would certainly be welcome welcome the, the ideas that you might see um, I should have put the inches on this like the measurements on this but as you can see the dresser countertop is 52 inches the uh, water shelf is 29 inches by 20 inches the cabinet or the cooker is 30 inches by um, it's almost the same um, 20 inches this cabinet is um, 20 inches 20 inches deep by 21 inches I think it's 21 inches long this is 12 inches deep by 5 foot long and it's quite tall so so far this is this is what I've got I don't know about where to oh, we're stuck I don't know where to put this this tall cabinet I could probably put it um, well I can pretty much put it anywhere it won't fit under my bed where this dresser is but um, it's okay I like the other thing is I could just get rid of all of this put my cooker in here and just build shelves and shelves and shelves with like a countertop all the way along to this and put a sink in somewhere with a bucket underneath and have one thing on top and one underneath and just store everything so you can't see it and if I really wanted to I could put an upper cabinet on this side or an upper cabinet on either of these two walls to store like the plates and the cups and maybe like some dry goods or something like that but um, having it all hidden might also be the way to go uh, the diff the distance between the wall and the first edge of the window is um, 16 inches 
So my cabinets could be 16 inches deep, which is pretty close to, well, this is 20, I think. Excuse me. Um, so I could have it 16 inches deep, 16 inches deep, and whatever I wanted over along here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that would be okay. So, and then I don't need doors. I could just like hang, like I could just do small curtain rods and because I have a lot of fabric. So I could just do that and then it would be um, easily accessible and it would be nice storage. So also if the stuff is close to the ground and it's covered, then it might be cooler and I could store stuff as a like a root cellar kind of situation although in the summer this house gets really really quite warm so but there's my there's my dilemma today I'm on holidays for the next two weeks so I'm kind of trying to figure out where my stuff should go to make my the best use of my space for my kitchen so any ideas are more than welcome. So take care, everyone, and I hope to hear from you, and we'll speak to you again. Bye now.